Any other questions? Is there a mic that we could? Yeah, oh, you could probably hear me anyway. I can, but nobody else can. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a question for both of you, uh, maybe particularly for Mary. I just wanted to, uh, and forgive me if you've answered this question already, uh, and that is that you had previous relationships with me in this lifetime, mm -hmm. and you have two AJ, so women. And, um, I just want to, if you could just articulate a little bit about the differences that you feel with AJ now at, at, compared to the other relationships that you had. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry. I, um, yeah, I've had two other major relationships in this life and um, the difference is massive. And in the beginning, it was massively like, confronting for me. And over the course of the last year, I've actually gone back to look at those previous relationships and um, seen how injury-based it was, you know, what we were getting from each other and why I felt such a strong attraction and a lot of it was based on injury. This feeling of, um, I want to be in control of my life and so, um, attracted men who were very comfortable with me doing that and they didn't necessarily want to open completely and that seemed to suit me quite well as well. Yeah. Not to say that I didn't love those men because I feel that I did but the difference with AJ is phenomenal for me. Um, I still feel completely overwhelmed to be with a man who loves me so completely and uh, wants to know about every part of me and share every experience with me. Uh, and the difference in feeling uh, feeling someone who really does love and care from a place not of need or not a desire of something in return is something that I don't know that I've ever experienced and it's just such a gift. Yeah, and I feel quite unworthy of him at times. <laughs> have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. And for me, it's like, um, I've in, in the relationships I've had, which has been two, two primary ones again, um, I was uh, always searching for something really a lot deeper than what we had. So I, I had some very deep feelings of dissatisfaction with those relationships because I wanted a much deeper relationship. And looking back on it now, I can see that that was because I just knew what a relationship should be and, uh, and just felt that that wasn't possible. And there was a, quite a lot of dishonesty uh, in my relationships uh, in, the, in what was coming at me uh, as well, which obviously didn't resonate very much with me at the truth thing that's in, like, inside of myself. So, so uh, when I met Mary, I could feel like I felt straight away who she was, but I also could feel her grief and, and the other emotions that were there that had caused her previous attractions. And by that stage, I had worked through a, a very large amount of my injuries. I had far more injuries than what Mary had, has ever had this life. And so, if I didn't spend four or five years working my way through them, um, I doubt whether I would have attracted her into my life um, anyway. But once I had done that, yeah, the feeling that I have with Mary is just this really deep intimacy, uh, which is always based on truth. So we can be totally comfortable with each other saying absolutely everything, right down to the things I've been recommending that you've talked about with your partner, even you know, if you're attracted to other people and all those kind of things. We can talk about all of those kind of issues as well and work through them emotionally. So there's a real deep bond and, and trust that happens between the two of us as a result of that. And also my feelings for Mary are one of, like, uh, as she's described I suppose, just this deep love for her no matter what she chooses to do. And, and so, uh, and I can feel that she has that love for me growing as well. And obviously as that love grows, 
and the bond between us just grows much more stronger each day as well. And as long as we both focus on dealing with the emotions that are harming that bond, and then I, I just feel like, and I know in my heart that the bond will just keep growing forever in its intensity. And that also reflect, is reflected in our physical life together, our sexual life together, and, and uh, just our mind, the emotions that we feel for each other, and even our passions and desires, you know, unbeknown to both of us, we have very similar passions and desires right down to the food we eat and all sorts of things. And that, that um, we didn't know, but we are, well, obviously I never thought that would be the case myself when I met before I met her but it's just turned out to be the case as well. And that doesn't mean that it will be for everyone, but it's just the way it's turned out for us. And, and so there's just this really, really strong uh, bond, which is totally different than the previous relationship. The previous relationships felt a very surface layer, and I was always dissatisfied with that. And, um, and because of my dissatisfaction with it, and not dealing with my own emotions about it, the women I was with often felt like I would, they could never love me how I wanted to be loved. And whereas I feel strongly um, that the kind of love Mary wants and the kind of love I want are identical in nature. Yeah. Can I just add about the previous relationships I had had, I said um, that I had created these relationships where I didn't have to be fully vulnerable and I could be in control. I actually had a very strong feeling about how I wanted a relationship to be. And I, did, I was saying to myself, I want vulnerability, I want to be able to share all these experiences with the man, I want you know, us to share a goal and vision together. But my law of attraction was telling me that I really, you know, I didn't want that because that wasn't what was coming in and that wasn't what I created. So that's sort of what I mean by the last year has been deconstructing what I thought I was going for and looking at it quite honestly about what I'm saying. 